We're about to readjust. Go to black. Hold on a second, folks. Okay, well, we run through the uh, titles frames. We're having some technical problems, ladies and gentlemen, but we are live in your living room computer, office, boudoir, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> I am Mantis. Oh, we might as well get this part out of the way. <laughs> I am the author of these two. Welcome to On Stage with Mantis. Tonight we're having comedy night. We have uh, Chris <laughs> Pavlon, Danny Gates, and of course, Big Nez. I am Mantis, the author of these beautiful books. The covers are better than the insides, but the insides are great. So I don't know how that works. Uh, From an Empty Heart and Words of Passion Love, available internationally at a location not near you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I don't do comedy anymore. I tried once 25 years ago. And I found out the material has changed since then, so it's not a good option. So we're going to leave it to the comedians here. Let me bring up Chris Pablon. All right, thank you, Mantis. Don't worry, not everybody gets my name right. It's cool, Pablon. It's a tough name to do. A lot of people think it's French. They're always like, Chris Pablon. Like, my name's not French, it's Belgian. I like the waffles, yeah. I think that's how they talk. I'm not too sure. Whatever. But uh, I'm a former Marine. You know, I was uh, in the Marine Corps. Yat Ura. I don't know what it means, but I'm allowed to say it. It's cool. And uh, people always ask me, why did you join the Marine Corps? And I always like to tell them, uh, free college. Hell yeah. You know, why not? The deal is, you might die... But uh, if you don't, that school is free. You know, now that I'm going to school, though, I'm talking to all the kids that are paying them loans that want to shoot themselves. Pfft, that's a deal I'm glad I took. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, boot camp was weird. Uh, no rainbows and butterflies there, I'll tell you. Uh, a lot of marching, a lot of getting screamed at. One thing they did teach me was how to fall down properly. <laughs> Finally, something I can use, you know what I mean? <sighs> no, not really. When you're drunk and you're thinking you're going to fall, you forget it all. But the one thing that they came up and told me was when life really sucked, the drill instructors would come up to you and they'd be like, You know what USMC stands for? And I'd be like, Yeah, United States Marine Corps, right? And they'll be like, No, you signed the motherfucking contract. Yeah, I, I was taken back. I was like, Wait a minute. Is motherfucking one word or two? And I'm pretty sure you was spelled with a Y. Who's in charge of these acronyms? But uh, what can I say? I joined the Marine Corps as a cook. I mean, simple reason. I'm, I'm a pansy. I didn't want to go to Iraq, you know? What are they going to do? Send me there with a spatula and a frying pan? What I won't shoot you, but I'll cook you some eggs. Uh, turns out they give you a rifle. <laughs> Who knew? I learned a lot with that rifle, though. I learned you never lose an argument when you're the one with the M16. I also taught, I learned how to teach people English with the rifle. You just point it at them. Yeah. It's awesome stuff, I'll tell you, that rifle. But uh, when I went to Iraq, it wasn't, uh, I wasn't a cook when I was in Iraq. I actually had to search people every day. And uh, it, was, it was pretty gross, I'll tell you. And not fun, not fun at all. And I never had a problem because, like, the, the, the shoulders, the, the chest, the back, no big deal. I did, however, have a problem with the credit card swipe and the ball grab. That, that was foreign territory, if you ask me. <laughs> no way. And plus, if I was grabbing down and there was something there, balls, no. Bomb, <laughs> yes. And, no. Hands down. If something was there, it's a bomb. That's pretty much the point I'm trying to make. But, uh, yeah, I went to Iraq. There was a girl when I was in Iraq. She actually uh, she got kicked out of the Marine Corps altogether because uh, they caught her 
going down on another girl. I know, awesome, right? <laughs> not for her. And I wasn't there, so not so much for me. I just got the story. But, yeah, I, I just don't get it. They kicked her out for that, and I just don't get it. Because we're in Iraq, you know? How else are they going to get the sand out of there? <sighs> yeah. Excuse me for thinking they're going to go powder their nose was a metaphor. That's out of the water. But the big question I always get, though, uh, since I've been out of Iraq, out of the Marine Corps, is uh, did you kill anybody? Did you kill anybody? Like, they're excited. And I'm, o I'm always just stunned. I'm like, no, I didn't kill anybody. I really wanted to. I did, however, kill a couple hundred million potential children in a 140-degree portage on, huh? Don't think it counts. But I'll tell you, you haven't jerked off till it's... <laughs> Jerk diving 140 degree portage on. Talking about sweating to the oldies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I used to drink a lot, especially like what, no can Marine guy doesn't drink. What Marine doesn't drink? Yeah, I drink a lot, a lot of the parties. And I learned a lot. Like, why is it when someone's laying down, passed out on the couch, the first thing that goes through all the other people's heads is, ooh, arts and crafts time. <laughs> I just don't, and there's always a ringleader, too. There's always one guy that's like, oh, you get the markers, you get the shaving cream, I got the duct tape. Break. And you're like, whoa. I just realized I pointed off. I'm, eh, whatever. It's cool. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I just don't get it. I never liked those guys because I was always the guy waking up with the marker on my face. <laughs> Penises everywhere. Not real ones. That'd be weird. That'd be a horrible thing to wake up to. Penises on my face. Yuck. But um, either way fun time in the military <laughs> yeah I've been out of the military though I'm going on about three years I've been out and I'll tell you I did what every 25 year old guy living with their mom should do I got a girl pregnant ah <laughs> huh? uh, nailed it yeah I know no <laughs> it's not something that people should anticipate to do but whenever anybody finds out that I got a girl pregnant, they always come up to me and they say, congratulations, Chris, congratulations. I don't hear congratulations. I hear, ha ha, aren't you still living with your mom? Did you plan this? So, yeah, no, no, I did not, no. Uh, but the thing is, is the girl I happen to get pregnant already has two kids. Yeah, even better, right? Yeah. No, should have read the fine print there. I wish she gave me the clap instead, because then at least there's treatment for that. <laughs> there's no treatment for kids. There's daycare, but that only works so long. But uh, I can't really complain too much about the kids. The kids are awesome. I, they're seven, and they're, and they're four. And they're funny, because I like messing around. I like being a funny guy. I'm a comedian. I like this stuff. And uh, we're at Bob's when she was still pregnant. And... The lady at the counter said to her, oh, when do you do? Because all women like to know about that stuff. And I'm thinking I'm funny. I'm like, ah, she's not pregnant. She's fat. <laughs> she didn't think it was so funny either. So <laughs> she looks down at the kids and she says, do you think daddy's funny? And the kids say, he's not my daddy. And I'm like, yeah, I'm here till three. That's when daddy comes home. I get to go. <laughs> And getting trying to stick around for that. She believed that. She thought that was pretty upsetting, but whatever. It was cool for me. But, I mean, having a seven and a four-year-old, it's tough to discipline, especially since uh, they're not my kids. It's not like I'm going to go smack them around. I can't hit them. But I found the loophole. I found it. You want to know what it is? Huh? You can play catch. That's right. Accidents happen. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Don't use softballs. Those are medical bills. <laughs> questions, questions. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frisbee's fine, though. Frisbee's okay. Her uh, son was getting off the bus the other day, and I went to go throw him the Frisbee. And he was all like, yay! Well, he didn't say yay. In my head, he was saying yay. So for the sake of the conversation, he said yay. But, all right, ready? Yay! Boom! Hit him right in the face, like, instantly. He did that confused look where he's like, <laughs> doesn't know what's going on. Then he realizes he's hurt, starts crying. I'm running over to him and I, I feel bad, but at the same time, I think it's funny. 
like I'm running over to him and I'm like, oh, oh God, oh, are you okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. But all I could think of was, that was for hitting your sister, you little shit. He didn't think it was so funny, but I thought it. He didn't hear it. It was okay. But then I got to have him relay the story back to me. You know, like, what happened? <laughs> oh, you hit me with the Frisbee. It was an accident. That's right. It was an accident. <laughs> Trying to, like, reassure myself. <laughs> yeah, it worked. But, uh, yeah, my girlfriend, she can't smell. And I think that's, like, the coolest thing about her. And whenever I tell people that she can't smell... <laughs> Like, girls are always like, oh, why can't she smell? That, that, that's a horrible, pr that's like a, like a huge, you're like, oh, why can't she smell? <laughs> it's like, I, pff, I don't know why she can't smell. But the guys, first thing they always go for is, uh, <coughs> well, she probably can't smell your farts then. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, not even the worst ones. Paint's peeling all off the wall. She's all confused. <laughs> it's pretty nice. But uh, she still gets mad at me at night for farting. Like, I'm just sleeping. Well, she, she doesn't get mad at the, at the sound of the fart. And she can't even smell it. She gets mad more at the laugh I make afterwards. Like a stupid little <laughs> chuckle. Like, <laughs> I think we've all been there. I don't even know I'm doing it. Why is she getting mad? I think it's her fault. Uh, whatever. But uh, I'm learning. She gets mad at me a lot all the time. And I'll tell you, I, I figured something out. You know the difference between math and relationships are? I can figure out what I'm doing wrong in math. You know, there is no guess and check in relationships. I'll tell you, I, I thought I was being a nice guy on her birthday. I took her out. I even got her a card. And then after she read the card, I told her to put it back in the card rack, and we left CVS. And I'm thinking, I'm saving money. I'm a nice guy. In her head, I'm just a cheap asshole. <laughs> it's not fair. But uh, either way, back... Uh, I think once you can fart in front of uh, your girlfriend comfortably, it's, it's about time to put on that weight, you know? Yeah, it's <laughs> time to get fat. And uh, I'm not too happy with that because a lot of people, now that I've had the kid, uh, they always come up to me <coughs> and they're like, oh, is it that sympathy weight you're gaining? I'm like, wow, finally something I can blame it on, right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's sympathy weight. It beats telling them I just smoke weed and eat all the kids' snacks. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, we've been having a lot of that fat sex lately, too, and that's not fun either, because there's a lot of clapping, <laughs> and there's nobody cheering. No. I laugh. She cries. We both go to sleep. It ends already wrong. <laughs> but uh, regardless, our sex life is still fairly well, and I'll tell you why, because I got a great imagination. <laughs> she could be anybody. <laughs> Although I think hers is a little better than mine because she sleeps through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I like to pretend she's Snow White and I'm trying to nail her before the seven dwarves get home. <laughs> yeah. Because if I wait and they get before me, I got to wait in line. And that just takes forever. I mean, Bashful takes forever to get undressed. Happy, I can never tell when that guy's almost done. <laughs> Sneezy just makes a huge mess. Grumpy's pissed because Doc's holding out on the Viagra. Dopey, he just humps her leg and sleepy. I just push him to the side. But uh, yeah, hey, that was my time, and you guys are great. I'm gonna get back to Mantis. Thank you, thank you, Chris. Bravo, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're gonna keep it moving right along. We're gonna jump in with Danny Gates if he can make it up to the front. We got a big audience in here tonight. Danny Gates, ladies and gentlemen. How we doing, large crowd? <laughs> People, wa people, <laughs> people watching this online think there's like 500 people here. There is. Uh, we're way down in mass right now, let me tell you. Uh. Good evening, on, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're going to keep it moving right along. We're going to jump in with Danny Gates, if he can make it up to the front. we got a big audience in here tonight. Danny Gates, ladies and gentlemen. How we doing, large crowd? <laughs> people, wa people, <laughs> people watching this online think there's like 500 people here. There is. Uh, we're way down in mass right now, let me tell you. Uh, we had to drive through Boston. Had to pick up my buddy Nez on the way down here and drive through Boston. Got to see a homeless person. Sweet. That's always fun. Homeless people are fun. Make you appreciate your life a little bit more. Saw a homeless person. He's like, hey, you spare a dollar? 
Yeah, I'll give you a dollar. You know, I gave him five. Felt bad for him. He's walking away, and, and, and I'm like, hey, don't spend that on drugs or alcohol. He looks back at me, and he's like, wow, that's what you were going to spend it on? Mm. <laughs> he had a point. I don't know what happened to me as a child. I think where it all went wrong was I had a pogo stick. <laughs> I think pogo sticks are, are, are dangerous for little kids. I had a pogo stick, and uh, one day I'm using it, and just out of nowhere, I got on it, and went po, and then it didn't go. And I had a bad, and that's where my fear of pogo sticks came into play. It was horrible. That and, um, I had good parents. I had good parents. Uh, my recently I found out a little trick that my dad pulled on me. Um, when we were kids, me and my brother had shared a room, and we used to talk a lot at night. And my dad would come storming in the room, boot down the door, be like, I don't want to hear another peep out of you guys. So, of course, as soon as he closed the door, me and my brother are in there going, peep. <laughs> peep. I tell my dad about that a few weeks ago. I told my dad. I was like, you know, me and Dee were in there going, beep, <laughs> beep. My dad goes, I know. I know. I heard you. And then I went out to the garage and loosened up the handlebars on your bogo stick. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I was so upset. <laughs> guys, uh, excuse my posture. I got some back problems. Went to the doctor the other day. The doctor says it's because of my wallet. So I keep my wallet in my back pocket. I was like, okay. So I went home and I was telling a girlfriend about it. Girlfriend turns around and I was like, why don't you just get a backpack? She is so stupid. I would look like an idiot with a backpack in my back pocket. Like, and that's not going to solve the problem to begin with anyways. <laughs> Got a dog at the house. Oh, dogs are fun. I love dogs. There's so many little games and everything you can play with dogs. It's like, a, they really are man's best friend. <laughs> they play all the games that I want to play. Because we will stand in the living room and stare at each other for hours until one of us pisses on the floor. <laughs> and I'm winning, <laughs> for the record. He was running away, though. I don't, I don't know why. But he was running away, so we had to get the, uh, the shock collar. We had to get the shock collar, and I'll tell you why. Because I have a huge fear of electrocution. Like, I, I don't know why I think, you know, like I, I highly doubt I'm the only person who's ever gone over somebody's house and they're like, yeah, just flip the switch over there and they don't put the cover on the light switch. And you go to put, and the finger, it's the worst. So that's my fear. I figure the dog fears it just as much. So we get the shot collar for him. So I got the biggest shot collar I could find, really, drive the message to this chihuahua. <laughs> And then, but the dog's smart. The dog's smart. You'll be hitting the button, and he won't do anything. He just stares at you. You start to wonder if it's working or not. And then eventually you go to try it on yourself, and then you're like, oh, no, this is dumb. <laughs> oh, my parents used to bring me to auctions. My parents bought everything at auctions. I don't know why. I bought, you know, like random pieces and art. My mom would come home and be like, look at these pictures. They match the frame. Like, mom, that's not our family. You shouldn't have that. I think that's where, where I got my slowness from was my parents. My parents knew I was slow. My parents definitely knew I was slow. My dad's like, so I'm a big surprise you're a comedian. You're slow. You're slow. You're slow. I know I'm slow. The state knew I was slow. The st I know the, the, the state knew I was slow because when I was like 15, I live on a dead-end road, and at the beginning of the dead-end road, they put a sign up with a kid on it like this, and it said, slow children. I'm like, you bastards. <laughs> I was so mad. <sighs> I don't want kids. I remember myself as a kid. I don't want kids. I look at my dad now. He's got gray hair. He's falling apart. He's 30. <laughs> I don't want kids. Luckily, I don't have any kids. And I figured out how to not have kids. The whole way to avoid it is stay with your girlfriend. Because if I learned anything in high school, it's three weeks after you break up, they get pregnant. It's like inevitable. I don't ever want kids. Hey, and you know what? I got a nephew, and I love my nephew to death, but here's a prime example. I'll tell you a story about me and my nephew. We go to the beach, and we go to the beach, and he wants to go swimming in the pool in, in, the, in, the, in the ocean. And they, I'm like, okay, so I grab the bag that my sister had packed for me to, you know, with his swimsuit and everything. We go into the bathroom. We're in a bathroom stall. 
with about a hundred other people at the beach in these bathrooms, these small bathrooms, and I'm in one bathroom stall with the wrong size bathing suit. But I didn't know that. I'm trying to put it on him, and he's going, no, stop, it hurts. I'm like, oh, my God. It was horrible. Oh, That was a horrible memory. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. I, gotta, I hope to God they find a cure for breast cancer for numerous reasons, but I think the biggest one is because I'm sick and tired of putting pink ribbons on everything I own. I do. I, I love women. I, lo I love looking at breasts. It's so nice. It's soothing. It's nice. It sends me into a state of baby. It's fantastic. I do. I got a buddy of mine. Sits in his car. We'll be driving down the road. He puts a seatbelt on. I'm like, why do you wear your seatbelt? Why are you so concerned with your seatbelt? Because I got kids. If anything ever happened to me and I couldn't play with my kids, that would just, I, it, my life would be ruined. You know, to ruin all that over something stupid. So I started wearing safety glasses. Because I like looking at boobies. <laughs> and to ruin it all over something stupid and throw it all away. <laughs> oh, I got a good girlfriend. I don't miss the single scene at all. I don't miss being single. The, uh, I can remember being single and going on dates and girls would be <coughs> like, hey, uh, I, can I can tie this cherry stem in a knot in my mouth. Oh! I think if you could do it with a hot dog, that would be fantastic. <laughs> oh. That's something to write home about. Be calling dad and be like, Dad, I found the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Doing drugs. I don't do any drugs today. But I, you know, I, I tried smoking weed once. And I had a horrible experience with it, and that was the end of it for me. I tried smoking weed. My buddies were like, hey, come out. Come on, we're all going to smoke weed. We're all going to smoke weed. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I go out, and I'm living with my grandmother at the time. So I come home, and I'm all high, and my heartbeat's racing. It's going nuts. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I go online, because when you have a problem with anything, you Google it. Anything's wrong, you fuck Google it. So I Google racing heartbeat. What comes up? Mm, heart attack. Everything's heart attack. But I never saw anything about heart attack because I passed out. That's how that night went. But I was living with my grandmother, right? So I'm laying there in the computer room like this, and she was a nurse at the time. So I knew my heartbeat was loud because I had her stethoscope, which was fun, but I passed out with it on. So she comes in, there's me with a stethoscope on, looking at a computer screen about heart attacks, and she starts screaming. And let me tell you, my grandmother had the voice of a thousand pterodactyls, and it was bad. And she starts screaming, and I got this, 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 this stethoscope on, it's going, ah! I'm like, oh no! It's the worst way to wake up. <sighs> I'm just glad April Fool a April's over. Because I if there's any holiday I hate, it's April Fools. I cannot stand April Fools. I can't get anything done at all. For like four and a half hours I was trying to break up with my girlfriend. I'm like, seriously. I'm like, you need to go. <laughs> you need to go. And here we are today. I do like my girl. I do. But I, I need my space. I need my space, damn it. We're guys. We need space. Miles and miles of space. <laughs> <laughs> I got a GPS because I was sick and tired of her telling me <laughs> where to go. So I got the GPS, but like they, when I got it, I got it at like the local electronic store. And he plugs it in, he's like, here's how it works, this and that. And I'm as soon as I drive down the road, it's like, turn left here. I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. Another girl, I can't deal with this. <laughs> and then it was set on something else. It was set to go somewhere that I did not want to go. I was not going that way, and I didn't know how to change it. So like, it's like, turn left here. I'm like, ugh. And then, so I kept going straight. And when I kept going straight, as soon as I passed that left, it's like, why am I with you? You're just like your father. I can't believe it. I'm like... Jesus Christ! <laughs> Threw it out the window. <sighs> <sighs> no, ki uh, no kids. I don't want kids. I, I know enough. Stay away, stay away from kids. And I, I've tried other methods of not having kids. I have. I've tried all the different ways. You know, like you know, the doctor tells you know, use the you know, you want to have protected sex, this and that, pull out. Yep. So. I, I, we tried uh, condoms. 
which are a magical thing for somebody who doesn't want to feel anything. And so I tried those. But we got the glow-in-the-dark ones, which are really cool. Um, but it's not really the condom that's glow-in-the-dark. It's like this powder inside, which was a magical little experience for the night. The next night when I was with a different girl and had no idea about it, and my pee-pee is glowing. <laughs> She's like, you're radioactive. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> I get paid hourly at my job. I think hourly pay is the best way to go, especially when you don't have a certain time to be there or when to leave. <laughs> get all your, all your little things done. I punch in. <coughs> I have about eight hours of work that I drag out for four days. I get more overtime than God. <laughs> it's fantastic. I get all this time. As long as I'm on the clock, I'm making money. This is a fantastic time for me to practice my Kegel exercises. <laughs> <laughs> or, or practice kicking myself in the nuts. It's great exercise. Forget PX90. Try kicking yourself in the nuts. I'm Danny Gates. You guys are awesome. Mantis, I got to hand the mic over. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I wish I could still do that maneuver. Um, okay, we, we're uh, thank you, Danny Gates. We got a big desk. Are you ready to come on up here? Yes, indeed. Right. We rock the house out. Oh. Come on, now. ladies and gentlemen, big desk. Yeah. Big shades on the <laughs> Take them off then. It's great to be back. How's everyone doing? Everyone's good. Great. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Happy. Yes. Let's do that. Yeah. Oh boy, so much to talk about. Last time I last time I was here, I wanted to tell you all I've uh, went to the doctor, uh, try to get some things checked out, and uh, took my AIDS test. Everyone took my AIDS test. You should be clapping for that, man. People die of that shit. <laughs> took my AIDS test, got a ninety-five on it. <laughs> got a ninety-five. It felt it, it felt good, like uh, <laughs> you know, because. You go in, and I was like, cause I was like, yeah, you know, take a look, see what's going on. And when I got the call about it being clean, I <laughs> I saved it on my voicemail. You know what I mean? And uh, so I can always listen to it, remember. And uh, the, 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 the 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 great thing about it is that I don't have to call. I, like I don't have nothing. Great one, but I don't have to call other girls I've been with and like tell them the bad news. You know what I'm saying? Like I have to be like, hey, sh hey, hello, was Sheila there? Hey, hey, how's everything going? Great, great, great. Oh, no, no, everything's not okay. Uh, go get your sandwich checked out. Click! You know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't going to say the P word, but we said it's R, so. Yeah, I don't, you know, it, it's funny because remember like in high school, like like you had sex head, and they always showed you pictures of like real bad looking penises and real bad looking vaginas, you know what I mean? It like kind of deterred you from having sex, but it was always like a vagina that looked like pumpkin pie, you know what I mean? Like, ooh, I don't want to have any of that, you know? But just, but there's always a friend you know that you go to the club with that would like want to have sex with a girl, you know what I mean? Who, who had a vagina looking like that, you know? But he's all drunk, hey, I'm going to go talk to her. Like, no, 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 that's the pumpkin pie vagina, dude. <laughs> You know, you don't want to hear that, Jack. He's like, no, it's all right, man. I like pie. Mm. No, not me. Not me. Yeah, because I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, everyone's talking about children and everything, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to have children right now, you know what I mean? But it's good, though, because, you know, now when I have sex with a girl, you know, I should not have to worry about nothing. Like, I can just be like, ha-ha, don't worry about it, baby. It's clean. You can take all of it, you know. Sorry, you said R. That might have been a little X. Sorry. <laughs> no, I just, I'm glad I'm, one thing I do have is I have sleep apnea. I don't know if anyone's ever had, know about sleep apnea. Oh, yeah. That is the worst, <laughs> that is the worst ever. Like, uh, people like, you know, certain women, you know, I mean, I lay wait. They like, you know, you snore? And I was like, Psst, I don't snore. And I, <laughs> so one time uh, they videotaped me, the girl videotaped me, and uh, I was like, oh my God. It's like, I was like, you never, like, you're like, sleeping, you're like, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So I got sleep apnea, and then I, now I have like acid reflux. And I was like, Jesus, should have gave me the AIDS. I would have been much better with it. Jesus. I'm like, 
like like I eat like pasta and I go to sleep. I'm like, oh my god, like oh, I gotta take tums and all this bullshit. I'm like, I'm tired of it. Like when you get older, it's just, it sucks when you're getting older. I can't disclose my age, but I don't want to talk about how old I am. A little weight. I want to be a sex symbol. I do. I want to like, 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 fellas. Like, you ever see your girl like, like, it's like, uh, like The Rock or one of these pretty ass dudes be on TV. Your girl kind of quivers in her chair. Ooh, The Rock. You be like, don't do that shit for me. You know what I mean? Like, why are you quivering in your chair? You know, that's why I want to be. I want to be like the comedian to make women, make women quiver and you know, make them just get wet. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be like a sex symbol, like, like The Rock. Them dudes probably take the like LL Cool J. Them dudes take their shirts off. They probably just pull out baby oil out the pocket, just rub the whole bars of baby oil. I take my shirt off, I just pull out a stick of butter. <laughs> so I throw butter all over my body, Jack. <laughs> Draw an arrow going down to my junk. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So I start going back to the gym. The gym's good. Get on the treadmill, which is a stupid, the stupidest device ever. Because you got to get on it. You got to spread your legs like this and push on the buttons. And it starts moving and you get on it. This is how I walk on the treadmill. I walk like this, like I'm walking to the store and shit. But I always put the treadmill close to the snack machine. <laughs> and I stop, get off of it. D12, get my zingers. I like zingers, everybody. Get my Twinkies, walk out. It, but it's hard to lose weight. It's hard to lose weight when double cheeseburgers are 99 cents. You can't lose weight when double cheeseburgers are 99 cents. And KFC got this. Double down. You guys seen this double down sandwich? This it looks like two dead cats, <laughs> and then it has like cheese and bacon. You ever, ever seen? Have you seen the sandwich? Oh man, I, I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat. It. I mean, I kind of want to try it so I can talk shit about it, but it's like I'm scared because because I, I might eat it and then like die or something. You know what I mean? But people, we, we, like it's hard for us to lose weight because fast food is delicious, especially if you're broke too. If you're broke, <laughs> if you got like. Two fifty in your pocket. That's you can get two. You can get two double cheeseburgers, man. That's a that's two ten. But but a salad that's good for you is like twelve bucks. You know what I mean? Give me go figure. I don't know. Let's just let's just nah. I'm like that. I'm gonna be a sex symbol. I do. I wanna be a sex. I do, man. You, I do. I wanna like. I wanna be like like sexy. Like I wanna wear like shirts that are like too tight for me. Ever see them dudes with them tap out shirts? Ever see them dudes that are all like tap out shirts and have like unicorns and like. Merlin the Magician and all that all over the shirts and stuff. I, want, I had a shirt like that once. Mine didn't say tap out. It said cook out on the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. Oil spill sucks. They're just trying to scare us with a bunch of stuff, man. Oil spills terrible. Tornadoes. 2012. I guess that's, I guess that's when I said we're all going to die, so... Start having sex now. If you're not having sex, start having sex now, Jack. <laughs> Don't wear any condoms. You might as well not do it. <laughs> I haven't had sex in a while. Oh, with someone else, with me. <laughs> pretty, pretty random. <laughs> I'm kind of, uh, I can't remember talking about this, kind of addicted to, to porno a little bit. Like, like not really addicted, but I, I would say, Maybe I kind of can't live without it. I don't know if that's addiction or not. I don't know what the word addiction means, but uh, I like porn. I like the like the pornos with the girls with the, with the real big butts. Like, you know, the, the type of butt like <laughs> the, the type of butt like I can sit on it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we're going to the mall. All right, mm. you know what I mean? I can sit on it. I like big butts, <laughs> and I cannot lie. I like I like big women. I like husky women. I like voluptuous women. I love voluptuous women. We'll just call them fat. I like fat girls. Um, <laughs> all my BBW women out there, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You're fat. Like, I might as well say. Um, my only issue was that why do you feel like they have a right to finish my food just because they finished theirs before me? Like, don't. Just because, you know, your food you ate before me, you don't want to eat my food. But it's all right. I, you know, I say, all right, so what? Eat up, baby. You're paying for it anyway. So just save me the baked potato. <laughs> Nah, I just uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't mind them. I don't mind them. I had a, I, I was, I had a girlfriend who was a big girl, and um, I did something dumb. I called her another woman's name. Has any fellas ever done that? Ever called her another girl's name? I used to call <laughs> all my girls by my wife's name. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Good, me and you, brother. Me and you, man. Just, it's like she was a big girl, and 
for some reason, at 3 o'clock in the morning, for some reason, all the cover just goes right up her ass. She just sleeps and all the cover <laughs> is up her ass. And I'm trying to pull, <laughs> I'm trying to pull, I'm trying to pull the cover out of her ass like it's a box of tissues, you know what I mean? I'm like, and I was like, Sheila! But her name's not Sheila. I was like, Sheila! Wake your big ass up and give me some cover. 3 o'clock in the morning, wake up, horror store. <laughs> she's like, who the hell is Sheila? I was like, oh my God! <laughs> Next morning, she's like, who's Sheila? I was like, I was sleepwalking, bitch. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's nice too. She's a nice lady. I hate Facebook. I know we're all on Facebook. Facebook is dumb. I got people sending me things I can't have. People sending me joints I can't smoke, <laughs> drinks I can't drink. I got a twelve-year-old in Cleveland that pokes me. I'm I'm tired of Facebook. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm tired of it. I, I hate it. I hate it. I, but I. <laughs> I hate, oh, I hate it. And it's like, you, you know, you have to prove yourself to people. That's the man's not talking about. You got to prove yourself to people. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, where do I know you from? You live in Boston, right? Yeah, me too. That's good enough. Just <laughs> add me. You know? <laughs> Stupid, man. And, and, everyone, and everyone thinks they're a celebrity or they're a philosophizer. It's like, oh, hey. check out my new. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> not you, man. Not you, man. You're my boy, man. Not you, man. Just, but you know what I'm talking about. Everyone, you know, what I mean? no, you know, everyone, everyone, everyone's a rapper, or everyone's a model, or everyone's a, uh, I don't know, a pedophile or whatever the hell they want to be, and then, and, you know, and, it's, and it's like everyone's a philosophizer. It's like, oh, the sun will come out tomorrow. It's like, no shit. Uh, you know, oh, uh, oh, d dry your eyes because tears are the soul crying. And it's like, shut up, man. Who cares? I hate Facebook. I'm sorry. I just had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook will backfire on you though. You owe somebody some money, you can't find them. <laughs> Check their Facebook status. <laughs> They're at the show. They're here watching the show tonight. <laughs> Shit is stupid. I'm sorry, it's dumb. So dumb, man. So dumb. I'll tell you what else is stupid too is um <sighs> is uh Scary movies. Scary movies nowadays don't really scare you the way they used to, like back in the day. The only movie that scared me last year was Paranormal Activity. Has anyone seen Paranormal Activity? That movie, you seen it? That movie scared. I, I, listen, I left that theater, I was a white man. I swear to God. That's how scared I was. <laughs> I took my nieces. My nieces, my, my, I love my nieces. They are two intelligent young women. Come on, Uncle Nance, let's go see Paranormal Activity. And, the first, and I was like, I was like, "Oh shit, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be scared because I'm I'm scared of shit like that." And I was like, "No, come on, all right, let's go, let's go in." So I go in, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm going in, and all of a sudden there's a scene in the movie where they're in the bed sleeping. You remember the, in the bed sleeping, and the covers start moving. I'm like, "Oh, this movie's awesome. This chick is in the bed farting. This movie's the bomb." I was like, "I love this movie." The covers whip off of her, and all of a sudden something you don't even see grabs her by the ankle and drags her down the hall. I turned from uncle to aunt in three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> pissed my pants. My nieces are they're clearly scared. The movie's over. Uncle Nez, what should we do? I said, you little bitches better go home and pray. <laughs> you better ask God to do something, Jack. But I, I went home, you know, I went home and I was like, oh, I'm not I'm not I'm not afraid. But what I did is I turned on every light in the house. I even turned on the oven and the microwave. That's how scared I was. Right? <laughs> I, don't, I just don't like that scary stuff, man. And I'm sick of I'm sick of these idiot shows. I'm sick of these these Twilights and these True Blood shows. I hate these shows. They suck. I'm tired of people making like like vampires or like. Like, oh, everyone wants to have sex with a vampire. I don't want to have sex with a vampire. I don't want to be with some chick that's like, oh, good. It's like, hey, how you doing? What's, what the hell's wrong with your mouth? No, nah, put, no, nah, don't, no, 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 ah, you know, like, I don't know. A black man is a vampire. There's only one of those, you know what I mean? That's Blade. <laughs> Me, I'd be dead as soon as I turn into a vampire. I'm like, man, it's nice outside. Oh, you know. This shit's dumb. It's dumb. Werewolves. Oh, <coughs> those werewolves versus the vampires. And the werewolves are pretty. And the werewolves look like shit. And oh, let's have let's have sex with a with a werewolf and a vampire. And sex is crazy. People are tying their people are tying their balls up into a noose and hanging it over the top of the thing and pulling themselves up and then jacking off and then, and then, oh, and then people are dying. Like what happened to the good old days? We just put a girl's legs up and it just. Lasted about two minutes, made an excuse, and you went home. You know what I mean? What happened to that? Oh, um, did you hear the doorbell? I think somebody's at the door. And that's my excuse for sometimes when I 
come quick. <laughs> I don't do it a lot, but it happens. It happens. No, I'm, I'm sorry for the rant, everyone. I just don't like that dumb shit on TV. <sighs> I kind of have a girlfriend, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like her too much. Uh, she's she's clingy. I could be in the bathroom taking a dump, and she'll be like, "Yes," and she'll kick the door and, "Are you okay?" <laughs> and hug me while I'm on the toilet. I'm like, don't you smell that? You don't smell any. You don't smell that. You don't smell like the doors and the windows all fogged up. You don't, you don't see. You don't smell any of that. No, you don't. No. <laughs> I I didn't realize the other day. I have titties. I actually have titties. You ever like come out of the shower and you kind of like come out the shower and you know you see the steam on the mirror and you're like, who the hell is that? Oh, that's me. That's me. <laughs> but I always tie my towel up top. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> my titties. I was with this girl one time. She's like, "Come on, let's have a titty sucking contest." And I was like, "Hell yeah!" And I was like, what "The hell are you talking about?" So I have a, I think I have an A cup, but they're going down. <laughs> no, that's how I get dressed in the morning. I do, like, oh, I get dressed. Oh, okay, my titties don't look too bad today. Put on a nice top, tight tank top, so they look like the flat. If I took this shirt off, this whole place with all the lights were cut off and bats would fly in here. If I took my shirt off. <laughs> It's terrible, man. <laughs> but I'm gonna be that sex symbol, Jack. I want women. I want women just to, when they see me, just the panties just get wet. <laughs> I love women. Thank God for women. Give a round of applause for women. I love women. We ask, we need you guys. We we want to kill you half the time, but we need you. We just gotta find the right one, fellas. We get the right one, we're good. Twenty minutes. Um, do we get done? Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I just love this show. Oh, I do? Oh, okay. Well, shit. I, I'm going to keep talking shit. Are you serious? Unless you want to wrestle with these two for the microphone. Who? Oh, no. I, 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 nah, I'm not wrestling with anybody. Are you kidding me? I'm sweating now. What's going to happen if I start wrestling? No, I'm done. I'm done. Listen, I want to thank everybody. Are you serious? I'm, I'm done, right? Plenty of time. Really? I can keep going? Yeah. Oh, man. That's great. I, I wanted to keep talking shit. I had some else stuff I want to talk about. <laughs> I forgot I was going to say, man, did you fucking me up, man? <laughs> ooh. Ooh. I mean, you messing me up. Ain't live. Yeah, ooh, sorry. Ooh. Are you serious? I'm, I'm done, right? Plenty of time. Really? I can keep going? Yeah. Oh, man, that's great. I, I wanted to keep talking shit. I had some else stuff I want to talk about. <laughs> I forgot I was going to say, man, did you fucking me up, man? <laughs> ooh. ooh. I mean, you messing Plenty me up. Ain't live. Yeah, ooh, sorry. Ooh. All the kids are asleep now. Mm, they are, <laughs> are traumatized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about kids, right? <laughs> kids, the, uh, I used to work at the Boys and Girls Club in Roxbury. You should have he heard some of the stories these kids were telling me. You know the kids have like blowjob parties and stuff like that? They, they have 12 year olds telling me stories. Oh, yeah, we had this girl over and she was doing this to all of us. And I was like, are you serious? I was like, you little lucky little. In my head, I didn't say it out loud. I was like, yeah. you lucky little bastards. I didn't get that till I was like 19. You know what I'm saying? You're 12 getting your thing. Oh, I, I, but it's terrible, man. I mean, I, I, I love children, but uh, the kids I was around were crazy. Like, we, like, they wanted to go to the zoo. Oh, kids, go to the zoo. Take them to the zoo. They go down. We go down to see the monkeys. You know what I mean? For some reason, people are fascinated with monkeys. They throw shit on people. I don't know why people enjoy that, but they want to see the monkeys. Okay, let's go see the monkeys. And I'm with like, um, the ages had to be from like, probably to like uh, six or seven year olds. So they're crazy. And um, I'm picking up, ready to pick up one of the kids. And, but my back was turned and I realized they had like a, a cage and the, the gorilla was like in the back and the kids started banging on the glass. And I was like, picking up one of the children and I was like, telling one of the people, I was like, could you stop them from doing that? And I swear, so I turned around, all I seen was the gorilla running towards the glass. <laughs> and even the gorilla jumped and hit the glass. Boom! I did anything any rational man would do. I was like, ah! I, st I started running. I was pushing little kids out the way. <laughs> like I was Barry Foster, man. I was jumping over stuff. We all get to the top. I'm all like, whew, whew. One little kid said, Mr. Nez, I'm hungry. Can I get some dipping Dots? I say, pal, I got dipping Dots in my pants. <laughs> You can have all you want. I don't like. I, duh, I just. I don't, I don't like. I don't like animals. I don't like animals. I don't like pit bulls. I don't like. Cats are okay. Like cats are okay, but cats are like crazy. They're crazy animals because you see a cat. Like the universal language for a cat, like for humans, a cat. It's just, it's just like. 
That's what you do. Oh, okay, let's do this shit. And the cat's supposed to come. And the cat looks at you like, who the hell is he? You know what I mean? Like, and then the cat come up and, you, and the cat kind of like sniffs you. And the cat's like, oh, yeah, he's an asshole. And the cat walks away. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all try to kick in, I miss. You know, you know, I, oh, I hate cats. Because they, then they, 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 they take dumps and pee in the litter box. And oh, man, I mean, my friend had a cat. And I was like, Get to my lady, man, can't you pass him? I can't go in the bathroom. You know, they're sitting down on toilet. I'm like, Whew, man, thank God. I'm like, oh. I look over. The cat's taking a dump right next to me <laughs> in the litter box. Look at me in the eyes. Like, I'm looking at him. And I'm like, so how long you been here? Everything's good? Yeah? Mm, that's great. Could you pass me the toilet paper? I appreciate it. Don't look. Don't look yet. <laughs> cats are fun. They, no, they suck. Cats suck. They do, man. I, there's a cat, there's a cat around, around the apartment where I live, and uh, I always go outside and smoke cigarettes. And... Um, <laughs> <coughs> yes. And uh, the cat always walks past me. But he's one of those big, bushy, like, wild cats. Like, like, you know, like, you know he eats squirrels. And, like, you know what I mean? You know he eats squirrels and fights skunks and stuff. He has a couple of patches missing on him. And I kind of want to, like, approach him and, like, I want to talk to him. Or, like, I want to interview him. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be like, hey, what's, what's happening, man? How was your day? Oh, man, it was terrible. I fought three, three pit bulls. I won. I'm still here. You know? <laughs> Smoked a joint earlier. What? You did what? Yeah, yeah. I'm selling something. I'm selling weed. You guys, you want some weed? No, I'm good, Jack. I'm good. That's supposed to be funny, but it's all right. A drug dealing cat. No, I guess it's not funny. Okay, people hate cats. That's right. People hate cats. Is, how does everyone feel about um, <clears throat> how does everyone feel about the presidency so far? Is everyone happy with what Barack's doing? Like Barack? People hate Barack, and I love it, too. I love People hate Barack. Barack's all right with me. I'm glad he's black. Half half black, but uh, that's cool. Half black's all right, you know. Um, I think uh, I love his wife. I love his wife. I love his wife because she has a big butt. I like. <laughs> that's the reason why I like her because she has a big butt. Like when she walks next to him, I'm always like, "Rock, get out of the way, Jack." Like I'm not even here to listen to you. You know what I mean? Just just make just make sure that unemployment keeps rolling, Jack. That's all I want. <laughs> I'm unemployed. Interview, I've been on interviews for the past two weeks. Someone asked me today, uh, what is your weaknesses? And I was like, are you kidding me? Steak tips, pornos, uh, uh, <laughs> weaknesses, women, uh, showing up on time. That's a weakness. Like, like come on, what are my weaknesses? You, know, you, always, you always have to have something prepared. You know what I mean? Oh, what well, my weaknesses are. I really don't have any weaknesses because I'm perfect. You know, I'm not perfect. Who wants to be perfect? I like being I like I like being a, a messer. I like messing up shit. I can't cook. So I'm I'm a I'm a terrible catch ladies. I I I can't cook. I don't want to clean up nothing. And uh just do the laundry for me. You know what I mean? Like I'm 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 sorry, I'm just ranting. I'm hot as hell. I should take my shirt off and the and the whole transmission. <clears throat> oh, my girl let me talk about my girlfriend. My girlfriend is upset with me because uh I stay out all night. That's what I do. You know, I don't stay. I'm not. Out, I'm like I'm not out cheating on her because I don't. I don't. I, I. I want. I'd like to cheat on her, but I haven't met anyone that's like worth it. You know what I mean? Like if you're gonna cheat on a woman, like why not? Why not have it be better than the girl you're with? And <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And everyone I meet is like beneath her, so I'm like ah, I'm out as a keeper. You know what I mean? But but I'm always out. I'm always out trying to work. I'm always out working. I'm always out doing this and I'm doing that. You never come home. You never spend time with me. And it's like, well, hey, I'm here now. Let's watch a movie. Let's sit on the couch. Let's talk. You know what I mean? Because I always want to talk. We're we going to talk. And it's like, okay, what you want to talk about? Our, our, our relationship. Okay, well, what's wrong with it? You're never here for me. Well, I'm trying to make money so we can have nice things. I don't care about nice things. I just need your love. Ladies, love don't pay the bills, Jack. Love doesn't pay the bills. 
I love love. Love's good. I mean, who, wants, who doesn't want to be in love? Who doesn't want to have someone to hold your hand and walk through the mall with matching tennis shoes on and matching sweatshirts? And, oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? You go to movies. Oh, you go, you go to the um, you know, window shopping. Oh, it's, look at that. It's a nice dress, right? Yeah, it's so nice. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's like the first month of the relationship. And then like the second month, it's like, why don't you shut up? <laughs> no, you shut up, you know? It's funny because my girl's a big girl and the only way, that's how we argue. It's like, we don't get along with nothing else except when it's time to eat. Like, you know, I want to hell with you, to hell with you. And it's like, are you hungry? You hungry? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm hungry too. Uh, let's go to Burger King. Okay, good. Uh, I'm in there putting onion rings on her finger trying to apologize to her, you know. Uh, <laughs> said, aw. Someone was like, aw, that's so really nice. Yeah, until she eats it. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just keep that for about a month or so? Yeah, babe, I, I, I think I think it might be time for Big Nash to get married. I gotta find me a wife. Who wants to get married? You want to get? Who wants to get married? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah, you guys, you guys are married, right? How long you guys been married? Twenty-eight years. See, that's beautiful. There's no, there's no reason to leave now. There's no reason to leave. Marriage is a great institution. I you know. just have to want to be institutional. Uh, right, right. <laughs> and that might be the only one I might, I might want to be in because I don't want to go to prison. That's the only institution I know about. Prison. Is it like prison? Because some people say, oh, it's like jail. I'm like, I don't think it's like jail. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got a cousin that's in jail. And I, I talked to him. I said, is it like being married? I'd rather be married. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I know about, I, I don't know personally about jail, but I've watched television. <laughs> The television's always correct, so <laughs> what television told me is that things happen in prison. Like guy on guy thing happens in prison. And uh I got a I got a I got a nice butt, so I don't really want to <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to stay a virgin, you know what I mean? Sought after you. Yeah, could you <laughs> Oh, I, I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I would like poop in my own pants and oh, I would pee on myself and like rub it all over my face. <laughs> I just like pee, I just pee in my hand. <laughs> it's like it's cologne. You smell that? Yeah, 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 it's piss. Leave me alone. <laughs> all right, I'm out of here, right. Jack. Mantis, thank you everybody. I'm hot. Don't go too far. I'm gonna need y'all in a minute. Get all three of you in a minute. We're gonna try. We're gonna, it's almost midnight now. Oh, boy. So we're gonna do a little round robin with you guys. Oh. If you guys can handle that, you each throw a line out and pass the mic. See if you can stump your next comedian. Okay. But I want to remind everyone next week, hopefully, we have Free Rider coming down from Maine and Connecticut and points. Other than that, to rock and roll, some killer rock and roll. They're on <coughs> Rock Band Two. And uh, they're doing a theme for a NASCAR racer and all sorts of stuff like that. In two weeks, on the 7th, we have Sex Coffee coming in from Providence, Rhode Island. Huge audience behind them. Nice. On the 14th, we have no show. It's a blank night. we got to take a night off and regroup for the rest of the summer. And on the 21st, we have some superstar band called the Velveteen Playboys. New lineup. Great musicians. You're all going to want to tune in for that. So now, let's bring you guys, come on up here, Chris and Danny and Big Niz <laughs> in the house. Let's see, who, who wants to start the round robin? We got about eight, nine minutes left. Let you guys just burn it on out. Eight minutes. <laughs> eight minutes. <laughs> Throw out a line. Throw it on and pass the mic. Don't think. Your opinion on cats is flawed. <laughs> cats are terrible. They, they 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 smell. They lick themselves and they look at you. They look at people like we are pieces of trash. Need us. And I say something to that. Yeah. Our cats. But you can throw them totally sideways. It's a round robin. Whatever you got to do to stump the next guy. <laughs> stump the next guy. Um, cats named Tom are assholes. <laughs> you got to have fun with it. I think, I think when it comes to pets, you're going to have good names and have fun with it. Yeah. I named my cat my face. So my girlfriend runs around the house like, come on, my face, come on, my face. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd like to have her. I'd like to give. <laughs> I don't know. Just give me, just give me a fish. Just give me a fish. Give me like a piranha. So every time her and I argue, we, you know, I can kind of like grab her hand and be like, "Ah!" You know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would work. I think she'd take over the piranhas. Yeah, she probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do I have that power? Yeah, like the fi- you know, feeding them's real simple. All, all that stuff, you know, it's better than any. Girl, I haven't met. <laughs> you're not even about feeding the girls or feeding the piranhas. <laughs> yeah, the gir- yeah, the girls I date, I just like give them feeding bags and have them keep going. You know, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I think I need a downgrade. I think I think I need a thinner woman now. I think if I get a thinner woman, you know, I think that I'll probably save a lot of money oh, yeah. on food. <laughs> No, the thinner women, they're thin for a reason. They'll eat a lot and they'll just throw it up. <laughs> That's the trick. <laughs> or they make it come out the other way. Ugh. There you go. <laughs> women fart. I don't I I've I've I finally come to grips with that. Uh my grandmother farted one time <laughs> and uh and I was like, Grandma, what are you doing? And uh, she looked at me like uh she looked at me like I farted. You know what I mean? Like she made me actually say, Excuse me, you know what I mean? She was like I was like, excuse me? <laughs> well, it's all about the crop dusting, you know? When you fart and you walk around everybody. That's what I always did at the gym, you know, and them protein farts. Nobody will know it's you. You just got to crop dust it around. It's a big confusion on everybody's face. Who farted? That's pretty much the question. Oh, yeah. Me and my girlfriend have to hide fonts from each other. We don't do it in front of each other. So we got to find <laughs> random places to do it. So like if she goes in the bathroom and really smells after, I'll go in there and fight. It makes it smell better. <laughs> so you guys are like farting in the closet and you shut the door and you're like, honey, could you hand me the uh, wheat thins? And she'd be like, oh, yeah, they're over. <laughs> <laughs> we still in farts, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, I'll tell you with the whole, uh, yeah, her not, my girlfriend not being able to smell, Dutch ovens are pointless. <laughs> I just, I, you know, when it comes to, I just don't like, uh, the problem with the skinny women yeah. is usually they're more high maintenance because you're going to buy them clothes and all that stuff and you're going to be fighting off other guys and stuff. And the worst part is, is if they don't even know that they're your boyfriend, you're just kind of spending gas money following them around. And <laughs> <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about women because, uh. We will we will follow a woman and we will follow a woman to the gates of hell. You know what I mean? Like, if we even have a chance of even getting a sniff of what they have, we will we will jump through fiery hoops with gasoline draws on. You know what I mean? Just to get a taste, of, you know. Yeah, speak for yourself. If this trouble, I'm turning around. I'm getting out of there. Yeah. There's nothing that fifty bucks can't handle. <laughs> This trouble I'm turning around too when they pull into the police station. That's when I go the other way. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I like, oh, yeah, but, but we always we like men say, "Oh, we don't pay for sex." Of course, we pay for sex. If we, we fill up the gas tank, we take them to dinner, we take them to the movies. Oh, we pay for it. We do. We might not get it that night, or we might not get it for three months. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> we're paying for it. <laughs> I don't know who pays more, though, me or the chick I'm with, because two minutes and then pff, I'm sleeping. She ain't too happy with that. Uh, we might pay. We do pay for it. You're absolutely right. We pay for it. But it, it's weird when you argue that point. Like you said, like after a month into the relationship, yeah. it gets a little bit worse. Yeah, we'll argue that. We'll be like, I paid this. I paid this. I paid that. And their rebuttal is ridiculous. I saved your receipts. <laughs> Those are important at the end of the year. <coughs> but you can't return this double cheeseburger, Jack. <laughs> the thing with arguing for me is I go with my reaction and I forget instantly my reaction. And she can repeat everything verbatim. <laughs> you said this, and then I said this, and you said that. So what does that mean? I was just kidding. You're always kidding. That's all I got. That's bad stuff. Yeah, if we don't, if we don't, ini- we got to initialize the argument on it anyways. If we don't, they will. Yeah. So if, if there's no arguments in a relationship, it's like a timer. It's like a fucking time bomb, ready to go off. Like every day, you're like, what the hell? And then all of a sudden, one day, 
Who is that? Who the hell is this girl? Who is that? Who the fuck is Aunt Margie? <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, I got caught looking at um, a website that was called. Busty baby dolls, and uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm not a good liar. Like, <laughs> like when I lie, I, I kind of like don't say anything and like shake my head. You know what I mean? Who you looking at this? I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> who else lives here? I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Busty baby dolls. I like them. <laughs>